Well, I can't believe I get to say it, but I am finally officially in Vienna, Austria. Uh, so right now I'm just in my hostel. Um, it's called Wombat. Looks very nice. I'll try to do more of a full review after I leave, but so far I'm very impressed. Very clean, nice lockers over there. Uh, so things are looking good. Right now I'm gonna head out, head to the streets and see what there is to eat because I am starving. I took the bus here from Bergenland, so seems as good a time as any to go check out the Nosh Markt and uh, see what sort of food I can nosh on. So as you can maybe tell from the screen, it is a rainy, shitty day in Vienna. Uh, it's supposed to be done by tomorrow, so I can hope that that's the case. It's got a weird look from someone, I guess, saying Vienna shitty is frowned upon here. But any case, I'm just outside the hostel. I'm gonna take you guys through the Noshmarkt. That's where I'm going next to maybe get some dinner. Hello. Hmm? Oh, nein, danke. Was ist das? Okay, ich habe Mann und Cesar. Woher sind sie? America. America. Mm -hmm. What's up? <laughs> and try some Kesha. Kesha has some caro. Sesame is good. Mm -hmm. Kannst du was mischen? Kleine Mischung mit dem oder bist du was? Like a pineapple, zwei pineapple. Yeah, okay. Natur pineapple. And come with me, I give you mango. Okay. Ich gebe deinen Naturmango zum Kosten noch. Okay. Was ist ohne Zucker, ja? Aus Ecuador. Ah, vielen Dank. Können Sie gleich eine Mischung aufnehmen. Okay, mal einen Kratzjahre behalten. Du darfst eigentlich meine. Die war das. Das sind die Mandel, ja. Aber du kannst du die Kescho ausprobieren. Das sind die Kescho. Okay. Das schmeckt auch gut. Aber es ist ein bisschen weich zwischen den Mandeln. Mandel ist mehr knusprig. Mm. Also wie viel kostet das? Das sind 23 pro Gramm. Ich kann es dir mischen, wenn du willst. Okay. Da habe ich noch eine gute Erdnüsse. Erdnüsse mit Karamell. Ja, viel ist Einen halb Jahr nach Anpassung ist passiert. Ja. So an important lesson I should definitely already know, but which I will pass on to you guys anyway, because I fell victim uh, to a classic scam, is make sure you know exactly how much they're charging you before they charge you. I thought they grabbed far fewer nuts than I, I was when I was at that nut stand than they ended up grabbing, so I paid a ridiculous amount. Um, a good tip. It's always definitely you gotta make sure exactly what they're charging you, exactly what the price is. Um, yeah. Anywho, now to the Nosh Mark. Got a huge thing of nuts. They're very tasty, but that's not the point of all this. Uh, now we are Walking down the streets of Vienna, Vienna, on this rainy Vienna day. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's just like a cool building. Don't know what it is, so I'll try to get a little closer here. I still don't know what this building is, but it looks pretty cool. Vina, oh, it's the opera. Stasopa. Well, I will not be going in this building then, but well, unless there are tours. Uh, yeah, looks like it's closed, but pretty cool old building. All right, so here we got a statue of something. Not exactly sure who that's supposed to be, but it says Franz Josef above it, so that was one of the emperors of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Um, this is a pretty scenic little corner here. So that's the back of the opera. Looks like there are a couple cafes there and then some statues. 
the, like the Pinocchio shop. Find that extremely off-putting. Just randomly in the street. That's the Augustina Kirche. So this is what I always find cool about Austrian cities is I was just walking along the street and I end up in a square like this. I have no idea. I guess this is the Augustiner Kirche, but uh, I have no idea what the rest of this is. That says Österreichische National Bibliothek, so I guess it's the library, national library. And then, is that this whole thing? Yeah, I really don't know. It's really pretty though. And here, we have someone on a horse. I want to guess Caesar, but I don't know why it would be. And it's in Latin, so. Don't know who it is. Well, if you've ever been in public and thought, man, I wish I had a defibrillator, I guess Vienna is your city. It's ready to go on the street. Also, super bougie looking Starbucks. Well, I think this is the front of whatever statue I was looking at all the way back there. Oh, it's the, um, Spanish uh, Hofreit shoe though. I think it's the, uh, whatever, they have these horses that do a show that I guess I should go see. Let me get a better view of all this. Okay, also, don't know what that is, but it looks extremely cool. There it is. So this is some sort of walking zone. Got a lot of the bougie stores, I believe. Breitling, Armani, I think Fendi is a big thing. Gucci, definitely. So, yeah. Not a street I'll be shopping on, but good to know it's here, I guess. Yeah, this is definitely the uh, bougie area. I'm not sure. Jimmy Choo there as well. What I really want to see is what this statue is up here. This looks like it's covered in gold. Oh, church. Some sort of church building. This thing. Yeah. There we go. There it is. Don't know what it is, but there it is. Now I'm trying to find a place called Cafe Havelka. I believe it's around here. Uh, my phone died, so I can't look it up. But hopefully we can figure this out just by looking around. And if not, I'll just wander the street, so. I haven't found the cafe, but I did find this super cool building, which cracks me up that they turn buildings like this that are so steeped in history into some sort of a, uh, some sort of stores, but yeah, it's wild. And then, completely by accident, I found St. Stephen's, I think it's St. Stephen's Cathedral. But this is one of the big landmarks, so it's, it's really pretty amazing. So I'm gonna check the cathedral out more tomorrow, definitely. Hopefully it'll be nicer out, but it's just, it's pretty fucking amazing. Pardon my French, but I'm really impressed. Whoops. Unbelievable. So there's a statue on the outside of the back of the cathedral. This thing really is huge. 
unanticipated how big it was going to be. Keeps going. It turns out that trying to find something in a city you've never been to before, uh, just by trying to use a vibe, does not work very well. Uh, I know the cafe is around here somewhere. Maybe I've even walked by it, but I cannot find the dang place. So, in the meantime, just enjoy some pretty buildings. Hopefully soon I'll have found the cafe and I'll get to have dinner. All right, mission accomplished. Now I just have to hope it's open. Something I should double check before coming the whole way here. So after all that, there was a huge line at the cafe, so now I'm trying to figure something else out. But there's a random evangelical church, according to a sign, so something to tide me over. What I really need is food. Oh, that's cool. Not over there. Maybe there'll be food there. Who knows? So I ended up going back to the Cafe Havelka. Uh, was able to get a table tucked away in a corner that I actually hadn't noticed before because it was barely a table, but hey, I was able to get a coffee. Got a, a melange, which is a very milky coffee, um, and hopefully that'll tide me over. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna go try to find a real dinner all the way back in the Nosh Market. Uh, I read about some really old school Austrian food, so I'm gonna try to find that place. So I'm almost back at the Nosh Mart, which means I'm finally about to get dinner. Uh, as you can see, it's getting pretty dark in Vienna. I think it's about six o'clock, 6.30 right now, so that's something to keep in mind if you come here in the fall. Uh, it gets dark reasonably early, but hopefully we'll be at the Nosh Mart soon and I can finally eat. All right, I just finished dinner at the restaurant I said I was going to. Yeah, it's Sir Eisern and Zeit. Um, if you're in the Nosh Mart, you need to go there. It's unbelievably good. I can't believe as an American I'm about to say this, but the best part of the meal wasn't the best fries I've ever had. They were the best fries I've ever had, but the cooked veggies were just amazing. The chicken was amazing. Um, I really can't recommend the place enough. It's just, it's classic Austrian food. Uh, the ambiance, I, I think I have a video of it. It's incredible. Um, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll show just a little, this is the building it's in. Um, so if at any point you're in the Nosh Markt and you're looking for somewhere to eat, that's, my absolute recommendation. <laughs> 